Hi everyone. As you can see, I was just um, starting to type in in the description um, about this video, and then I thought, no, perhaps I'd better do a, a short one explaining myself in case I don't explain myself properly. Um, so basically, look, I know they're not stars in the grass. Um, it's little droplets of water which obviously the sunlight is shining through. Um, but if I could blacken out the whole background and you could just and keep the light so you could just see that light, I bet you would think it was another one of my star videos. Um, I just think that um, the sun, the stars, the moon are just nothing like we've been told. I believe that the, the sun and the moon are the same distance up um, as each other and I think they're they're both a lot nearer I think they're more like 4,000 miles away rather than the Sun being 96 or 93 million miles away I also believe that um, the Sun actually reflects the light I don't think the Sun is the actual light source um, I don't know if it's in, whether the sun's an object which can absorb, which, which is absorbing some type of energy and then can reflect it out, or if it's maybe getting it from above it and reflecting it. I, I'm not sure, but I, I'm pretty. It looks to me like it's actually reflecting light rather than producing the light itself. Um, the moon again is a totally different story. That seems to have its own light um, and it seems to be colder um, than what it, it seems to be colder in the actual moonlight as opposed to in the moon shade. Um, I have done experiments myself um, to that effect and it came out um, that it was colder um, and I was going to do another experiment on and actually film it because I, I actually I did think that it was common fact I thought everyone knew this but um, anyway the the only clear nights we've had there's just been chemtrailing all day and that so it isn't really a clear night and I don't think it's worth even attempting it uh, to do a moonlight um, temperature experiment if there's chemtrails about anyway that's Besides the point, I could go off, I could, well, I could talk for hours on this sort of thing, but anyway. Um, like I say, I know they're not uh, stars in the grass, but, you know, it's just to say, we don't really know um, what's up there in the sky. All we've got is what NASA tells us um, and people like that. And to be honest, I don't believe a word of it. Call me mad, I don't care. That's just how I feel. Um... And I just think, you know, maybe things were a lot simpler than what we think they are. You know, that water reflecting light look like, looks like a star, you know. Perhaps the things up there are, are totally different, like I say, to what we've been told. Well, I think they are totally different to what we've been told, you know. I'm not saying they're drops of water necessarily, but I just wanted to show this video just so you could see, you know, how simple things can be, and how, you know, or another way of putting it then, or is how deceiving things can look, you know. Anyway, enough of me gabbling on. Thanks to my subscribers, um, and if you're new to the channel, hi, and thanks for watching. Um, the reason I captured this in the first place was that I do film uh, quite a lot of wildlife, I don't just film stars and chemtrails and stuff. I actually have the camera for filming wildlife and stuff as well. Um, but I say I just happened to catch this while I was uh, filming a pheasant. And yes, I know, still very shaky footage. <laughs> oh well. Anyway, thanks for watching. Cheers.